Hello, David here, and the project for today is repairing a broken screen on an iPhone 6. This phone was given to me by a neighbor who didn't want to go through the hassle of getting it repaired. I understand the cost to repair is about $100 or more, and she went on to get another phone. So I don't know if you could see the cracks. Maybe I need to turn it. pretty badly cracked. So you've got two options. You can replace just the glass, remove the old glass, and use a glue or bonding agent to attach a new glass, or you could buy a glass with an LED screen already bonded as a composite unit. Did some searching around. I found a website that specializes in repairing cell phones and also they sell parts. I ordered the parts from them and after two weeks nothing showed up and I figured it must be the Postal Service. I've been hearing rumors about the Postal Service having problems being jammed up with lots of work and not getting their mail out on time. I waited two more weeks. So it's been four weeks, nothing showed up. I hear nothing from the company and I sent them an email. They never responded after a couple of days. So I called them on the phone, no one answered, I left a voicemail message, no one responded. Another day later I called again, no one answered, no one responded. So I disputed the credit card charge and left it at that and that was over a week ago and I haven't heard anything. So I went to Amazon and four days later this arrived. This is the tool kit. It's got a couple of screwdrivers in there. A guitar pick. Suction cup. Let's take a look at this. Let's get my fingernail in between the two edges here. It's got a wet wipe and a dry wipe. There's no further instructions other than the note on here that says it's fragile not to apply pressure to the corners of the LCD panel. Pressure will damage the LCD panel. Be gentle and cautious to the flex cable connectors when installing. Damage LCD panel and flex cables will avoid warranty. I'll look at this and make sure there's no cracks in there. And I see no cracks. There is a protective plastic cover on that, which I won't take off until later, until I install. Make sure you turn off your phone before you begin working on it. I'm going to start off with the pentalobe screwdriver. And I assume because it has five tines on there. There's two screws at the bottom near the home button. Can you remove those screws? They're really tiny. Don't lose them. Don't let any cats in the room. Don't let any kids in the room. I don't know what I'm doing in the room. Okay, here's that second one. Put them in a safe place. I always save hundreds of jars of all sizes. I'm going to put those little screws in this jar. Okay. Next step is to attach a suction cup to the glass near the bottom of the screen. This thing is so cracked, I don't know if it's going to hold. It really doesn't hold. This thing's pretty worthless. Use a guitar pick to get under the 
glass and pry it up. And I'm not getting anywhere. I wonder if a knife blade would work better. Knife blade works better. Of course, I don't want to get the knife blade under there in case it damages something. Let's use the knife blade as a wedge. Get that guitar pick under there. Okay, let the knife blade fall out. It's going to work along the edge, the bottom. I'll do each side equally. Let's go over to this other side. When you're done with this project, you can use a guitar pick to jam with your favorite musicians. See the battery under there. Okay, so what we want to do is disconnect these ribbon connectors. From the screen. I don't want to bend it more than 90 degrees. I'm afraid of ruining the ribbon connectors. Okay, regarding this plate, I'm going to use that rubberized magnet. I made a template of this shape on a piece of paper. Hopefully the magnets will hold each screw in place as I place the screw on the template from here. Get the Phillips screwdriver. The reason I want to get these screws in the right place is because I've heard that they're different sizes, different lengths. And if you screw a long screw in where a short screw is supposed to go, that it could break the phone. If that magnet doesn't work, I'm just going to tape them down. The screwdriver is magnetized. That's not going to hold it down too, too securely. I think there's another screw. I think this one's got to come out. I just happen to have this forceps in my garage. Lift that out. Looks like this screw didn't have to come out. Gotta put it back in. And these are tiny. Okay, let's back in. This one goes here. I'm gonna get some tape and tape those down. Okay, what happened to the fifth screw? I know there was a screw in the middle. Looks like I lost it. Doggone it. I was using my magnetic pickup tool by Craftsman, not a sponsor, and I found that little screw in the carpet. What luck. I'm going to unsnap these ribbon connectors. They just come straight up. What else is connected? Looks like there's four. There's four. Now we could set this off to the side. 
anyway, we do set this aside because we're not going to do any more work on here. There's parts with the new screen that have to be transferred from the old screen. Okay, for the earpiece cover, there's three screws holding that down. I don't know if these are different sizes or not. I'm going to set them to the side and measure them. Hope that middle one's longer. I better draw a layout for this too. Looks like the middle one is longer and the end ones are the same. Okay, there's that cover. That's why if I get distracted, I won't lose anything. Just going to move the earpiece out from under the cable. That part faces up. The little oval on there, the black oval in the center, fits down into an oval inset in the phone. Next we'll take out the proximity sensors and the front camera. Yeah, there's two of these square things. Next, this little gold thing has to come out. I think it's really tiny. Aha, uh -huh, got it. This little gold thing is held in on a peg. There's a round, there's a round hole on there that rides on this peg. That little white peg right there. Next we're going to remove the metal plate. There's three screws on each side. Here, here, and here. One screw near the home button. And then... That's it, this screw's already gone. And these should all be the same size. Looks to me that this screw from the home button is holding it down too, so I'm going to take this cover off for the home button. There's something holding it down at the bottom. Okay, there's the home button jack. I could pry out the home button. There's just adhesive holding that down. This over here is the circuit board for the fingerprint scanner. It's held down on a little white peg as well. This tool isn't sharp enough to get under there. Work on that home button some more. I wonder if I could push it up from behind. It's definitely putting some pressure on it. There we go. And there's a bit of adhesive holding that down. That little junction has to come up with the plate. The best thing to do is peel it up at the bottom. 
just tell that I'm with adhesive. That's the adhesive pad right there. I don't think I damaged this. If I did, I'm in trouble because that that's the home button function. Just going to stick that adhesive back down. I think I've got everything I need off of the panel, except for this plastic piece. It's a plastic piece. It's either, I think it's for the earpiece. That plastic piece right there. That's held in with adhesive. There we go. I think there's another one right here. This piece for the camera, that plastic piece. comes out as well. Okay, let's get the new screen. I put the metal plate in place. I want to make sure that we adhere this adhesive in the place. Just put the side screws in for now. Put that home button back into place. If you break your home button, there are replaceable home buttons, but you'll never be able to have your fingerprint function because these are serialized to the phone. I gotta get these holes to fit over their pegs, just like that. And then this snaps down. There. I heard that snap into place. Push down that button, make sure that button's adhered properly. I can't feel it from the other side because that screen protector's on there. Okay. Get the home button cover on. Let's see how did this go? I think it goes like this. So now I know where that other metal plate screw goes. That goes here. Let's get that up. I had discovered I missed a step, so I removed the screws for the metal plate. And the back of the screen has a piece of protective plastic on it, which comes off. See that little tab there? All right, now I'll put the plate back on. I'm gonna transfer over these plastic pieces from the old phone to the new phone. There should be enough adhesive in there that you don't have to add any adhesive. However, I don't recommend using adhesive because 
It might clog up the lens of the camera. I can set this old screen to the side. Next is time to add the camera and the proximity sensor. Let's start with this, putting this gold piece in. Looks like this blue thing has to come out. some type of protective cover and there's a little hole see that little hole in there that rides in a peg in the body of the camera next we're going to put these squares in And the camera. Got to get these squares in first. Next is the speaker. A little oval part. Or fits in the oval section of the phone. Okay, with those pieces firmly in place, gonna put the loudspeaker in. The loudspeaker, those four gold pieces are at the top of it and they face up. And then the camera ribbon goes over that. Those four gold dots on the camera ribbon line up with the four gold dots on the speaker. So there's little pegs on the speaker that go through holes in the ribbon. So make sure those pop into place. Make sure the camera is firmly in place. Now get the earpiece cover because that holds everything down. Get the screws for that. See the long screw. The long screw goes here in the upper right corner. So we're going to get the body of the phone. I'm going to put the ribbons on. Not sure what all goes where. Whoops, I see another protective cover on here. I don't know if this thing comes off or not. It looks like it stops. Stops around there, so I don't see it covering anything. So I've got four connections. Sure these are organized. I think that adhesive holds this ribbon out of the way. Just want to make sure when it's folded down that none of these get pinched. 
So let me check the order of these. I'm not sure if this is the right order or not. Yeah, screw it up. This little black plastic flap goes underneath the metal plate. So I'm going to reassemble it. You get the transfer of these pads. The back of the connector so it pads on it. Next we want to catch, catch the lip from the top into the case like that and then work down from the top, be real careful, don't break the glass, it's a real fragile moment. Okay, it's in. Get the penta loop screws. There we go, I'm done. Gonna consider this project a success. It was obvious this is the first time I've ever done this, so that shows that you can do it as well. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring that bell for more great videos from David GPO.